Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. It's been over a week since I made a video. Um, a temporary job came up. I had to work a lot. Get up so early and work like over nine hour shifts. So anyway, I haven't been making videos, but I have been watching the fights. And let me talk about the fight uh, that just happened this weekend. Uh, last weekend that uh, I was really uh, on May 17th. I was really excited for that fight, even though I didn't make a video about the prediction. But uh, I thought it would be a 50-50 fight, depending on whose game plan was better and who was more well prepared, and who and if Marquez got old overnight and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, it was it was the Marquez Alvarado fight at the Forum in uh, Inglewood, California, where uh, pretty much where Marquez started his career. Um, he was undefeated there, still is, and, uh, yeah, it was, uh, definitely, uh, I did not expect Marquez to do that good. He looked really sharp. He dominated the fight. I think I had the fight maybe 10-2, to 9-3 to 3 Marquez. Um, I thought Alvarado was going to do better, but, uh. Yeah, Alvarado just uh, was, it seems like he was waiting too much and waiting to counter too much, being too patient when really he should have been trying to go on the inside and make it a brawl from the very beginning of the fight. And it looked like he was trying to strategize and trying to box Marquez and wait on him and that was just bad. Anyway, uh, he didn't impose his size as much as I wanted him to, like get inside and stuff like that. It did shock me though when he knocked down Marquez. But then again, that's I was expecting more of that from Alvarado. But pretty much, yeah, like that was pretty. He, he was too inconsistent. Uh, Alvarado just he pretty much Alvarado got dominated. Besides the round eight, I think where he knocked down Marquez, and maybe two other rounds where you could have gave it to him. But, uh, yeah, I was expecting what, the round where he knocked down Marquez in that, in the, when Marquez got caught in the, in, in the combinations when they were both throwing, Marquez got caught and got dropped by a left hook. That's what I was expecting from more of from Alvarado. But he didn't do that. Um, Marquez, he looks very impressive in this fight. At 40 years old, he's the best he's ever been, like, his body looks like he's in tremendous shape. I've never seen his body like this good. He looks ripped. Ever since the Pacquiao 4 fight, he's been his body's been really ripped. And uh, some people are speculating that he's on something. I say pretty much you're innocent until you're proven guilty. So he hasn't been caught. So you got to take it for uh, what it is. And like he... He, he hasn't been caught and there's no evidence, so he's not using. you got to look at it like that. So, anyway, Marquez looked very sharp, knocked down Alvarado. I was shocked when that happened. Um, uh, Marquez looked very powerful and his combinations looked vicious. Um, just, you could see, you could feel the power when he's throwing those combinations. And Alvarado's a warrior, was taking the punches very well. Because those were hard shots. And uh, I think the round before Alvarado knocked down Marquez. Uh, Marquez knocked down Alvarado first in the previous round. With a right hand that sent Alvarado almost through the... Almost fell out of the ring. Almost through the ropes. I think that sparked Alvarado's warrior instinct. And then he came back in the next round and knocked down Marquez. And then it was turning out to be a candidate for the fight of the year. But then it kind of slowed down again because Marquez started controlling again and dominating. So definitely not fight of the year. But it had its moments where you thought it was going to be fight of the year. Like when the knockdown, after, like when they both knocked down each other, stuff like that. But anyway, it was a good fight. Um, impressive performance by Juan Manuel Marquez. And... Uh, Alvarado didn't have the right game plan, was too patient and waiting too long to throw his punches. So, 
Alvarado. He showed that he's a warrior, though, from t taking those tremendous shots. He still continued, and he actually came back after he got dropped, and everyone thought, like I thought, he might have might have been on his way to getting stopped, but then he came back and dropped Marquez, so you got to give him credit for that. Uh, Alvarado is a very good fighter. He just got outclassed by an elite fighter like Marquez. Marquez is just on a different level. And uh, Alvarado should uh, go back to the drawing board and fight a tune-up fight. Fight a, a fighter that's on a lower level. and uh, Or the same level as him, at least. Or uh, a little bit lower than him to get back on, the, on, the, on track. And uh, Marquez... He's the WBO number one contender, mandatory for Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Max Kellerman was talking to him about, at the end of the fight, are you going to fight Manny Pacquiao for a fifth time? Marquez not really answering the question clearly, saying whatever's best for me. Sounded like he didn't really want to fight Manny Pacquiao, but anyway, we'll find out in the weeks to come if, you want, if we're going to see the Pacquiao-Marquez 5. I want to see that fight. I think it'd be a great fight considering both of their performances. Pacquiao looked really good against Timothy Bradley in the rematch. Juan Manuel Marquez looked really good in uh, the fight with Alvarado. They both look like they're on the top of their game, and uh, it's going to be another competitive fight if they fight again. So, yeah, very good fight. Marquez impressive. Alvarado, a warrior, hanged in there, came back, dropped Marquez, got dominated, but still showed that he's a good fighter just not on the level of Marquez and didn't have the right game plan. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the fight. And thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks.